Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Part 27. So, in the description of Part 26, I said I would be working on my underwater base this part, and that's what I'm going to be doing. As you can see, I have all my glass on me. Um, before I go off to do that, though, I got a good suggestion, and that was to build a second backpack. So that um, I would not have to be constantly coming back to my base as much. I'll still have to come back every so often, but this will increase the amount of time that I can go before I have to return. I'm also, while I'm going to here, while I'm here, going to make that reinforced stone and some shears because I need some more wool. You might notice that I rearranged my chests a bit. I've been making a whole bunch of rubber because I'll need rubber for cables. I'm gonna have to put this there, I guess, for now. Anyway, so let's see. Gotta charge this backpack, and then we'll get out of here. There we go. And it's charged, and I'll just leave it like that because I don't actually need it because I my other one's already fully charged, and my nano suits pretty fully charged as well. Um, I've been smelting my iron into refined iron so I can use it, but my MFEs are low, so I'm not able... Um, see, they charge up every so often, but it'll, it'll eventually be done, eventually. And I switched this out for half steps, and I really actually like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm liking how this looks now. I like it a lot better. And then I've got my two ladders down to my tree farm. And I went ahead and planted the second area with normal trees, which is why I've had so much wood to get all the uh, uh, rubber in this chest here. So, alright. It's a long trip to my underwater base, so I'm going to cut that out. Be right back. Okay. And ooh, it's snowing. Pumpkins over there. That's quite nice. Let's see here. Hmm. I don't want grass up here. I want it to be snow. There we go. I actually may end up taking this down simply because it would won't work with my idea, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, so let's see. My basic thought is I'll have oops. This will be the center and then I'll have eight rooms and a square around it. Hmm. There's squids nearby, it sounds like. Alright, I think... I'll come over here. Because this is all... The sand. See, I need to get... To, um, I need to get out. And... Look to see... What the area around the water is like. So... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? I don't know what just happened, but oh well. Alright, let's see here. So this is the ice. Hmm. I'm thinking I should just sort of throw a room down somewhere. Alright, so let's put down a marker. Alright, two blocks down. That one. Okay. I'm gonna have to be careful I don't misclick blocks because it takes so long to remove blocks when you're underwater like that. Alright, so this will be. Yeah, this will be my first room.
Okay, so I've got the first seven rooms done. I'm really liking the only room left to bring out is that one in the corner over there. So, so yeah. You can see the sun's just about to come up here. And I'm actually quite pleased with how this worked. Also, the uh, snow filled in the bit of dirt that was up here. So that's good. And uh, I broke the ice a little bit over here, but I refilled it in with water. So that's good. So, yeah. Funny thing is, though, the seafloor is actually pretty high in that spot there. And so the tunnels kind of, um, so it's going to be mostly excavation there. These back uh, rooms involved, involved a lot of excavation because of how high the sand and stuff was. Well, these front rooms were pretty simple because there was very little stuff there. So you could see the walls. But um, anyway, it's harder to tell. That's why I was doing it at night because it's harder to tell once the sun comes up where all the stuff is. Anyway, so I'll come down here, and each room is about 5 by 5. Let's just count here. Yeah, it's 5 by 5. Each room is 5 by 5, four blocks high, and then the domed area, like that. And they all connect to the center except for the corner rooms. So there's the center, and so this is all good. And, uh, so yeah, this is the center of the final room. So, bust this and come out here. So, here's the dome that looks like outside. Um, what I do is, I have each tunnel, each connecting tunnel is three blocks wide, and then I have a Oops, that's too far. Then I do this. So. And it's easy on these later domes because I just line it up with the existing um, domes. So I can see, I just line it up, and then I know I can turn here. Bust that out. And it's, as you can see, it's very dark. The, um, but that is the way it goes. Let's see. Let's get there like that. Get right there. There we go. That sort of helps. So, let's see. Then I put the second layer of glass down, like this. Again, you see it's really dark, hard to tell. This is why I cut most of it out, simply because on the others I had both not I was I was both not sure what I was doing and it was ridiculously hard to tell what was going on. Now it's sort of simpler to tell what's going on, plus I actually know what I'm doing. So then once I've got that done, I put that there, and because of the way I did this one, just one button. It actually drains out pretty well. So now I have to simply drain the room like this, fill in all the source blocks. That goes there. So I actually have to put the stone just to follow my pattern here. Okay. And because this room was actually already filled with sand, and sandstone, and dirt, it's a simpler matter than the other rooms of uh, just chopping it all down. Okay. So yeah, building an underwater base is mostly just tedious. It's not 
hard, this difficult. And, um, it was made much easier by not having to worry about uh, running out of breath under water. And I only had to charge my nano helmet uh, twice so far. So that's good. Let's see, now I need to bust up the floor as well. Because I've got this pattern of using cobblestone everywhere. <laughs> I had to keep I have to keep running back to my base for cobblestone. Fortunately, I had plenty of cobblestone. And I've basically been exchanging all my cobblestone for dirt. Because I have so much dirt now because obviously the seafloor is gonna be mostly dirt. So I have a lot of dirt now. But um that's good because I'll be able to put the dirt into the recycler and get lots of scrap from it. And then I'll be able to use scrap to... Wait, wait, wait. Iron. What a surprise. This is the first bit of resources that I've found in this, ex in this entire long project. Wow. Okay. I'm not complaining. Anyway, so as soon as I wrap this up, As soon as I finish this, I'm going to go do some more cave exploring because I'm low on resources and I need more. And cave exploring has been seeming to be the way to get lots and lots of resources. I finished processing all the iron and so now I have 15 stacks of refined iron. Plus, I have um, a little bit of normal iron. About 15 blocks, if I recall correctly. Um, so what this means is that I have lots of potential for making water mills. And also some straight iron if I decide I need to build shears or something. Which, speaking of shears, I got a whole bunch of wool from some sheep I was paused on the underwater base building and went and got some sheep off camera at one point and that was in part of the stuff that I cut out and with that take out that put that there put that there Last couple blocks down. Try and figure out why I've got rock instead of glass up there. I also went back and while I was charging my nano suit, smelted some of the glass or not glass sand that I had into glass. So that's good. I think I should go up and uh, take out some of that dirt. But other than that done. Let's see. Did all four touches up? No, hold on. There we go. Now let's see. This is good. I need this as well. But I already did that. if that was consistent texture here. There. Now I think I'm done. Let's go see what it looks like. It's daytime, so it's gonna be a little hard to tell, but I like it. Oh, good, that solidified. Right. Okay. I think that looks pretty, pretty good.
now. I just have to come up with a use for it. Okay. Put that back like that. And I guess we head back to my base. Put away all this stuff. And go for the cave exploring. Alright, so... Into the caves I go. Even after all this time, there's still some areas that I haven't explored. I think I'm going to go this way. I've been trying to uh, empty out these caves, like make it so there is nothing left. But it is harder than you'd think because I keep finding new areas. Let's see, I could go down there, but I'd rather go this way. All connects around anyway. Okay. So let's go this way. I believe there's some dark area over here. Primarily, my goal for this one, this cave exploring trip, is redstone. I'm ridiculously low on redstone. Oh, hello. I am so glad I have this diamond sword. It makes life so much simpler. Alright, ooh, iron. Very good, very good. I will note that I am a little high for um, redstone. Redstone usually is lower down, but I figure this cave will loop around and end up lower down. That's how these things work usually in my experience. Okay, nothing that way. And nothing that way. Wait. Ah. There is stuff that way. Alright, let me grab this stuff first. And then I will in that direction. Good, more iron. That's a tin. Okay. Got all that stuff. Grab this iron. I find it suspicious that there's only one, only one lump there. fight some skeletons. Ooh. Lapis. Very nice. Nice really big deposit of tin. Very good, very good. And more lapis. Was that a slime I heard? I thought I heard a slime. More 
iron. Definitely a lot of skeletons up there. this water. I hear these skeletons and this water. They're really close, but I can't find them. Ah, oh, I'm above them somehow. Alright. No problem. Hey, gold. Very nice. They were really, really close. I didn't even realize I was digging down. Did not intend to dig down. Ah, oh, well. Alright, so what do we have here? Okay. More iron. Coal. Tin. Copper. And it gets down here, so. But other than that, nothing major. Still no redstone, because redstone is my goal. I'm basically just going to hang out in the caves until I run into either. Um, well, either I run out of resources or I find redstone. So. That's what I need. I need a lot of redstone because I've got all this iron, so I can start making some more water towers, but I don't have any redstone. So a lot of good is me to have all this iron if I can't actually use it. You know, hey, look at that. There's this. I am low enough for redstone now, as I suspected I would end up being. So that's good. Let's just head this direction. Oh, more iron. Very nice. And more caves. big cave. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, I've learned that these caves are so winding and so um, luring, like they lure you out of your way that you grab the resources that you see when you see it. You know, obviously get safe first, so you're not going to be attacked while you're doing it, and then grab the resources. Because you never know. You might not ever be there again. Even if it is just coal. 
tin, and copper. Just worth it. Yeah. There are multiple zombies around here. Oh, wait a minute. I see you. Oh, yeah. I was here off camera earlier. Yeah. This cave, it, um. Yeah, I came here off camera a little while back before I was doing part 27, but I ran out of torches, so I had to quit exploring. But I actually found lava down here, and, um. Yep, see, still some lava around here. <coughs> Did not see that one coming. Um, but I ran out of torches, had to quit. But I found, like, some lapis, and nothing too exciting, but I did find a little bit of redstone. See, I should seal that off. That's just a recipe for disaster. Obviously, all the lava's gone now, because it's had enough time to slowly work away. But, um... But yeah, I found some lava and I couldn't explore the cave anymore because I was out of torches. And I actually was hoping to get back here, so that's really cool. More gold. <laughs> that was a deposit of tin that led into a deposit of coal that led into a deposit of tin that led into a deposit of gold. Alright then. Okay. Is that everything in this cave? Here's so. So, what's over here? Obviously been here before, but what place is this? Hmm. Okay, this is just the same area looped around again. Cool. This is one of those caves that sort of loops around over itself. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so I don't see anything more in this area. And as I say, that copper appeared. Okay, so I don't see anything more in this area. So I think... Okay, so I'm not complaining that it seems to be working. <laughs> Which is probably a good thing, because I'm actually not sure where to go next. Seven gold so far. Right, um... Let's see. How should I get out, I wonder? this way. Or not. Um. Or yes. Yes. Where's the next? There's the next cave. Is there anything? Yeah, okay, so I gotta climb up normally then. lot of coal. I have so much coal back at home. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Mm. All 
right then. As I was saying, I have so much coal back at home that if I wanted to, I could build another nano suit. Just go out and build another nano suit. So that is very interesting. Okay, um, there's lava over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna dig this way for a while. See if I can't get out from underneath of it. It's a light on situation. Am I out from underneath it now? Yes. Alright. Now let's climb up there and see what the lava's about. I should have brought some water with me. Didn't even think about that. Okay, I should be above the lava at this point. Now I just have to dig back. Find it. Ah, more iron. So now I've gone from underneath it to over it. So there's this probably a really thin deposit of lava. Mm, more copper. Probably shouldn't dig down when I know there is lava that I cannot find in proximity to me at this time. Let's see, so yeah, I guess it would be right through there. Ah, and there it is. Heh, <laughs> look at that. Alright, um, let's see, how do I want to do this? this, I guess. Do I have any gravel or anything? Yes, I do. Awesome. Hmm, I don't think that worked. Very careful here. Okay. Now I want that stuff as well, and I want this stuff, so let's see. This looks easy enough, so I'll grab this stuff first. Okay. And my inventory is too full, of course. Drop the feathers. Don't need that. See, I've got lots of brown mushrooms, it's the red mushrooms that I have very few of. So, um, what do I drop? Dirt. Don't need dirt. There we go. Ten red mushrooms. Very nice. Ooh. I get more. Yeah, so okay, so all those brown mushroom caves I've found, this is a red mushroom cave. Very, very nice. Oops. Oops. <laughs> there we go. 
wonder, can you plant them? No, you can. Cool, I'm thinking I might build a mushroom farm. Just for the sake of it. Alright. Assuming there's nothing else cool nearby. There appears to not be. I shall be able to move on here. Alright, okay. Let's get out of here. Let's see, where's the door? Oh, wait, there's still tin over there. Um, Watch my health. I'm pretty low on health, actually. It would really, really suck to die again. Okay. I'm actually thinking I should go back to my base now because got plenty of stuff. Still don't have any redstone, but. Inventory is pretty full already. I'm not gonna be able to carry much more tin. And I need some water on me anyway. So let's see if I can find my way back. See if this is where I think it is, then yeah, okay. So if I had water I could gather up some of this obsidian. Um, let me swap out my backpacks here. What do I drop? What do I drop? Um, gravel. Now I just have to get back up. Right, it's this way. Right, okay. Then goes down. Okay. So I'm going to dump off all this stuff, and then I'll head back into the caves. 